All right, guys, welcome to FFL Fury and FFL High Voltage Masterclass Series. Guys, we're going to be doing this every Saturday. And each week, we're going to be going through a subject that's going to help you guys get better, right? So thank you this morning for jumping on here and joining us. Um, because this is going to really this is going to help your business get to the next level. Um, so today we are going through appointment setting. This is appointment setting 101. This is the very, very, very basics. This is what you need to focus on to get started. Even if you've been here for a while, like we're, we're like these are the basics, and and everybody's not even doing the basics. So we're going to start here with getting to set appointments. Okay. Um, so how many people have been on a live dials? Use your uh your not your actual hand, but your other hand, like your little hand. Where is it at? Uh, the, if you click on your little three dots, raise your hand if you've been on the live dials. Not your hand, Corinne. <laughs> it says reactions and then you push your hand. All right. I have Kylie, I don't see my hand now. Okay, I know. So looking about, I don't know, 12, 13, maybe about half the people have been on the live dials. If you have not been on the live dials, guys, that is really the basics, but we're gonna come back to that. I just wanted to just kind of get a little poll real quick about who has been on. Um, and so step number one, right? Before you even start setting appointments, <clears throat> you need to prepare, right? And so when you are in, this is the things, what I'm gonna go through the first part of this list are the things that you need to be doing and when you're in contracting, right? Most of you guys are past contracting, but if you recruit somebody, they're going to be in contracting, right? And some of you guys have never done this part to begin with. So if you go to FFLnational.com, there's a section that says start here and it goes over appointment set. Like there's examples of appointment setting videos. Jamie Euphemia is the same person. She's and her videos are on there. Jamie Euphemia is in our in our hierarchy, some of you guys don't even know her. Amy is one of the best appointment setters in Family First Life. And her video, like she, we have a direct access to Jamie, right? Jamie is the person that trained me on the phone. So listen to those videos. You can't just listen to it once. You have to listen over and over again, guys. So just like anything else in your life, you can't practice something one time or hear something one time and think you got it. You don't. And I don't care how long you've been in an insurance business. Uh, hold on, let me turn off this um, these sales. I don't care how long you've been in an insurance business. We do things different here with Family First Life, right? And so you got to watch these videos over and over again so it starts to seep into your brain. Listen to how she's saying things. Listen to what she's saying, right? There's scripts on there. You should be practicing the scripts, right? But you want to start with listening to someone else and hearing how they do it so you can get an example of how you do it. When you know your favorite song, the reason you know your favorite song is because you played it over and over again. You didn't listen to it once and learn the words. This is the same thing. Guys, you're not gonna come in here and all of a sudden be this great professional on the phone. None of us were, right? But we practice. Let me ask you a question, James, Prophet. If when if you watch, let me if you watch the Olympics, right, on TV, you watch the gymnastics, for example, by watching it. By watching the gymnastics on the Olympics, could you figure out how to do it? No. How would you learn how to do the? How would you learn how to do a backflip? Let's say do it all. So not. <laughs> well, I gotta hire help first of all, but I gotta do it over and over again. Okay, and then, yeah. then do you do you like do you think you can just figure it out on your own, or do you need somebody to help you? You, you said need, you need somebody to help you, right? Need help. Why? That's right. Why is that? You just you just there 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 are things that you need to learn how to do to figure out how to do it right or else you probably won't get it right okay thank you so this is the same thing guys look at this like a sport you're not going to learn it until you practice right and so again so that's the first part is watching appointment setting videos can somebody type this in the chat one of the leaders Anybody, somebody. I got you. Okay. So number one is watch the appointment setting videos on FFLnational.com. Um, 
Number two is have your manager help you buy leads. Don't go buy leads by yourself because you're going to probably buy the, the leads that you don't even know how to call. You're going to probably not get enough. You're going to probably not get enough um, leads, right? We're, uh, let us help you. Let us show you which leads to buy. Um, because again, this is new, right? This is not something that you, most of the people have not done before. And even if you've done it before, you have not done it with a family first life. So let us show you. There's a reason that the people in family first life are making the money that they're making and helping the number of families that they're helping, right? And it's not by accident it's because there's a system in place. And I tell, if you follow the system, you'll see the results. But the problem is we want to go and do it our, in our system, the way we think it should be done. And that doesn't work. I told someone the other day, turn off your brain, at least for now, and use mine. Because I'm not, gonna, I'm not thinking the same way that you're thinking. Because if I did, we would have a problem. But if you want what, if you want what somebody else has, had, someone else has, you have to do what they've done, right? And so, but, but again, we're here to help you guys and we wanna help you get better, but you're not gonna get better by yourself. You need a coach. So have your manager, set up a time your manager to help you buy your first lead order so that you understand what leads to buy, okay? Number three, practice the script with your manager. Don't practice it with your best friend. Don't practice it with your mama. Don't practice it with your cousin. They can't help you. Because no matter what you say, they're gonna, oh my God, you sound good, girl. Do it again. No, like it, they don't, they can't tell you the little nuances that we know works and what doesn't work. So you need to practice with your manager. And the guys, the reason, let me see who, um, Lupe. Why, <clears throat> why is, why is that so important? To practice the script with your manager, mm -hmm. because you you know what like what you're what you're saying, um, and obviously you have more experience, so, so <laughs> you would tell me. Um, like my family probably wouldn't tell me, but you would. Right, and they don't know what they're listening for. Yes, right. So so remember remember the, then I'm gonna, I'm gonna put you on the spot just a little bit, okay. So remember, <laughs> remember one of our first conversations, right? You were like, I, I've been practicing the script. And I was like, let me hear it. And you're like, oh, well, and I was, and you weren't, but you were so nervous because you hadn't practiced with me, right? Yes. And so you thought it sounded good. And I was like, no, we got to make some adjustments. Yes. Right. And so again, guys, all of these things are to help you get better, but you're, you, you, you're not unfortunately going to fix. Thank you, Lupe. We're not going to figure it out on our own. And the quicker you can go through this process, this uncomfortable process, the, the better it'll be. Like we don't drag this, don't drag this part out forever. Like do these, these things that I'm talking about, like I said, if you're waiting to get contracted, do these things while you're waiting to get contracted. Like don't wait until after your contract, you have all your carriers, learn the script, understand how to, so, so by the time you're ready to run, you're ready to run, right? Who came here to make money? Who, okay, so everybody did, because I, I guarantee you, if we say we're going to stop paying you, you're not going to work. So if you came here to make money, then let us, let us show you how to make money. And let us, but if you want to make two or $3,000 a month, by all means, keep doing what you've been doing. But if you came here to make, to change your life and to change your family's life, we can help you do that. Okay, so <clears throat> the <laughs> number four, is prepare yourself to get uncomfortable. That's probably the biggest thing. These phone calls, nobody likes making phone calls. I promise you. I promise you when I wake up in the morning, I'm not like, oh yes, right? I We get beat up just as much as, you, as anyone else does, right? I'm not like, I can't wait to dial tomorrow. Like tomorrow morning is Monday, it's dial day, yes. But I don't, I don't, I don't feel that way. But I also don't say, I hate dialing. I can't stand dialing. This is terrible. I don't do that either, right? Because whatever you say, whatever you say out your mouth, your mind hears it, right? And so then you start to believe it, right? So some, you can trick yourself into feeling differently, right? So 
but you got it, but you just need to be prepared. This is not gonna, none of this is gonna feel good. It doesn't feel good to be told no. It doesn't feel good to say, somebody tell you F, you don't call me anymore. It doesn't feel good to get hung up on. It doesn't feel good. None of those things feel good, right? But are we here because of our feelings or are we here because this is business? And that's where people get, that's where people get it confused is you get caught up in your feelings. This is not, this is not business and feelings don't go together. This is business, right? And so at the end of the day, Think about how many times you told somebody F you when they called you a telemarketer, you felt a telemarketer. I'm not interested. How many times have you done that? But then when somebody does that to you, you feel, you feel some kind of way about it. Why? Right. And then we got to remember, yeah, these are leads, but leads does not guarantee that somebody is going to say yes when you call them. And I can guarantee you too, if people, if you're, if you have not prepared yourself, it's going to feel even more uncomfortable. Right. So if you have, you're not doing anything to get prepared to start making phone calls, you're not, it's going to be, it's going to be, you're going to, it's, it's going to feel like torture. But guys, if you, like, I, if people have heard me say this before, pull the band aid off fast. Don't pull it off slow. Dwayne, when you pull your band aid off slow, what happens? Does it hurt? I mean, it hurts either way, right? Dwayne. Are you going, we can't hear you. I'm sorry, my wife was distracting me, I apologize, yes. And so if, if you pull off the Band-Aid, if you have a Band-Aid or and there's some hair on your arm, right? And you pull it off fast or slow, it's gonna hurt either way, right? That's correct. But if you pull it off fast, the pain passes fast. That's true, so absolutely. If you pull it off slow, one hair at a time, you're like, oh God. It's like, ladies might understand this, like if you ever had your eyebrows threaded, it feels, or tweeze, it feels like they're pulling out the hair. Like you tweeze your eyebrows and you pull out your hair one at a time. That hurts. Like it hurts worse. But if you get it waxed, they're just like, Shh. it's real fast. It still hurts, but it's real fast. Get, get uncomfortable fast. Like don't drag it out, y'all. We drag out this uncomfortable feeling. And the only way that you're going to start to not feel uncomfortable is through practice. This is new and it's okay. Don't compare yourself to anybody else. Don't compare yourself to me. Don't compare yourself to Corinne. I've, I've made probably tens of thousands of phone calls. So I can, I can be making a phone call. I can call somebody right now and be playing a game on my phone, right? Because it's just, it, it, it's now it's not even, I don't have to think about it. I don't have to think about it. But every, most people, you guys, when you're new, you have to think about, you got to think about what to say, how to say it. What, what, oh, they just said, I'm not interested. What do I say? Like, it's a lot to learn, right? But if I promise you, if you continue to practice, You'll get better. You have no choice, right? This, we're not talking about, Yvette, we're not talking about showing you how to dunk a basketball. That's a skill thing, right? You got to have height. You got to have, you got to be, we don't, you don't, we're all on equal playing ground here, y'all. Like we're not, we're, this is not a, a skill that you have to have, but all it takes is practice. We're not asking you to, to James, we're not asking you to like, can you go do this flip on this? Um, I don't even know what the thing is called, a little skinny thing they be on. And, <laughs> and it's gymnastics. We're not asking you to go balance on a balance beam and do flips on a balance beam. We're saying practice this script so you can make, so you can change your family's life. That's all we're doing, right? Okay, so that's the first part. This is, this is what you need to do before, while you're getting contracted, before you even prepare to start dialing. Like we haven't even gotten to the dialing part yet, right? <clears throat> no, number six, four, five. <laughs> create a schedule that you can stick to guys you have to treat this like a job until it pays you like a business and your dial days are the that is your money that is the money making day if you look at it like that's the day that you make money you'll treat it very differently right but i don't like i have a schedule that i follow each and every week just like if i had a job right and so on monday for me Right. And, 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 and I'm talking about when you should start dialing, but I start dialing at nine o'clock. So even if I'm working from home, I got to get up at a certain time. I still get dressed. I still brush my teeth. I may not put on makeup if I'm working from home, but I do all these things like I'm preparing to do something. Right. You can't just jump out the bed and start dialing. It's not going to work. Even if you're doing it from home, like get yourself, prepared, but have a time. Right. And then this is the time that you need to be at work when you say, if I'm gonna start dialing at nine o'clock, that's what time you start work. So if you just like if you had a job, 
you would need to be there by nine o'clock. It's the same thing. Your independent contractors, most of you, but most of you have, are used to having a job and used to someone telling you what to do, where to be, and, where to, and, and so you come here and you don't do any of the things that you did when you had a job. So now you're your manager, right? So you assign your schedule because this is your business, right? And we're going to tell you what, what will work the best. And again, <clears throat> if you don't follow it, we can't guarantee you the, the results, right? But I can tell you, if you follow the system, I can guarantee you can make money here, a lot of it. Um, you can, and you can have a lot of people in the process, right? Um, so, but you need a schedule, right? So on, and here's the other thing, your dial date, those are the, those are the most sacred days of the week. Like don't schedule the, don't, do not schedule your doctor's appointment in, at 10 o'clock on a, on a dial day. If you had a job, would you do that? If you were working, who, who, Dana, Dana still has a job. And no, you know what I'm saying? No, it's not, I'm not, it's not a slight on you, Dana. But if, if you're at your job, right, would you, would you schedule the point? If you had a doctor's appointment, would you schedule it at the beginning of what, like at the very beginning or at the end or in the very middle of the day? I would schedule it near the end of the day when I'm getting ready to get off. Okay. So why aren't we doing this here, guys? If you have a doc, if you had a job, like I know when I had a job, I would schedule my, my doctor's appointment first day as early as possible or as late as possible because I did not want to impact my work day. You do that day on the day. weekend when they're off. If they open on Saturday, I would do there it on Saturday. Go. That's another, that's another, you know what I'm saying, another option. Like some doctors, because of COVID, they are open on the weekend. Some doc some doctors, you can go just do a televisit. You don't have to go in the office, right? And then we get the things yeah. happen. We're not saying that, guys. But again, treat this like a job so that it can pay you like a business. Like you were doing these things when you when somebody was paying you twenty twenty five dollars an hour or less, and maybe more in some cases. But we're we're talking about we have the opportunity, guys, to make six figures and more here. You have the real opportunity. So and you're working for yourself. So ask yourself, based on having a schedule, if you if you would manage somebody who's followed the schedule that you've been following, would you keep them on? Would you fire them? If you would you fire you based on what you've been doing? And if the answer is yes, guys, you got to make some changes. So know what your schedule is going to be and stick to your schedule. Thank you for your honesty. They said someone on iPhone said yes, they would. So have a schedule and stick to your schedule. Most of us are doing Monday, Wednesday, Friday, we're dialing. And we're dialing for the next day. We're dialing to set appointments for Tuesday, Thursday, and Saturday. That is a full timer schedule. But we're going to talk about that in a second. <clears throat> um, and then the next part of getting pre-prepared for your dial session, get work spots. Work spot, there are so many discounts on leads that work spots is going to pay for itself. It's $99 a month. And I know to most people, you're like, oh my God, that's a lot. I can't afford it. You can't afford not to have it. I mean, last month I probably spent, no, let's say June so far. I probably spent, you hear people talking about spending a thousand, fifteen hundred dollars on leads every week. I probably spent fifteen hundred dollars total on leads because of the work spots discount. And I've, I've and I've made <laughs> I can't talk about what I made, but I've helped 14 families. Y'all can do the math if you want to. But I've helped 14 families with that hundred and, and we take the families and multiply that by a thousand. That's just on my own pen. So I've helped 14, 14 families with that, what I say, $1,500 in leads that I've spent because I have the workspots discount. I don't need workspots because I have an office. Workspots is really so that you guys, if you're near office, you can go into the office, right? And you have access to that office so you don't have to pay anything extra, right? But, and I have, cause I have an office. I have workspots only for the discount. But if you, if you, if you, let's see who I'm going to call on. If, um, Marquesa, Marquesa, if I said it wrong, I apologize. If I said, okay, you can get, I got it. You can get a thousand dollars, you buy a thousand dollars in leads, but they're 50% off. You spend $500 on the lead that would have cost you a thousand. And then you pay that $99 for the month for the work spots. Does it make sense to have work spots? Absolutely. Yes. So you're missing out on discounts because you don't have work spots. You don't want to spend a $99 
to get the discounts on the leads. Get work spots, y'all. It doesn't benefit me to, to tell you about it. It benefits you to get the discounts. Because I don't know about y'all, I want to save as much money as I possibly can. All right, so that's getting ready. That's all preparing, preparing, right? Now we're going to talk about what you, the appointment setting day, what needs to happen, right? So this is a new list, y'all. So on, this is really the, the, you're ready to start dialing the phone after you've done all these things that I mentioned before, right? So the night before, have your leads ready. So we already talked about having an appointment, having a schedule, right? You already know what time you need to be to work. So have your leads ready the night before. So if that means printing out your leads, if that means putting them on a spreadsheet, if that means buying them, you need to have your leads prepared the night before. Uh, let me see. I'm not gonna call somebody brand. Oh, Dante. Hey, Kelly. Hey, how are you? Um, how many leads do you? And this is, you know, you may not know, but I just how many leads do you need to have? every dial session. How many new leads do you need to have? So according to you and my great upline of kills to Sean Bay, I should have 150 leads. There you go. Good job. Okay. Okay, so, KBT. So I'm waiting. <laughs> I'm just waiting on my manager to let me know when I can start buying leads. So he told me to hold off until he met with you and I'm waiting. Well, we'll talk. Me and Kill talk as soon as this call is done. Because awesome. you should be buying leads. Awesome. Um so, um, so it's 100 to 150 leads that are new to you. So listen to what I'm saying, y'all. It doesn't have to be leads that are new because they're, because guess what? I may have called a list of leads, Dante, and I booked and booked 10 appointments from it. And maybe the other people, and I never called through it again, right? And then I give you a stack of leads that I've called before. That's a list that's new to you. Right. So you haven't called them. So they, the people that answer, it's going to be different people to answer the phone. It's going to be even the same people might have answered the phone for me, but then they didn't like how I sounded. They want to talk to a man. I don't know. You know what I'm saying? But it's a list that's new to you. And that's all that matters. You need a list that's new, a hundred and 150, a hundred to 150 leads. Every time you dial of leads that are new to you, you cannot keep using the same leads over and over again, guys. It does not work. Thank you, Dante. It is not worth Thank to continue you. to use the same. You, you have to have leads that are new to you. The way that you continue to, and some people are like, how do I do that? I don't have no money. I, I'm, and I'm going to post a video. I'm going to post my speech. Go to work. Like that really is the bottom line. Most of you guys are in a situation that you're in right now because you're not willing to go to work. You're not willing to get uncomfortable. You're not willing to change what you've been doing. You go to work. I guarantee you it works. And then guess what? When people see you working, it's funny how it works because people will start giving you stuff, right? When I, when I, and, 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 and there's people on the phone when they, when they get, when they get on the live dials, when they're trying to set appointments and they're struggling, I've been like, Hey, listen, I'll give you some more leads, but I'm not going to do that if I'm not seeing that because to, to much is given, much is required. If I'm not seeing any, if you're, if you're not doing anything, I'm not going to go in my pocket and hand you a thousand dollars. So that's what I'm doing. I'm handing you a check when I buy you leads and people don't realize like when I give you a stack of, when I buy a stack of leads, I might, I, I might spend $300 on those leads, but that could be worth two, three, $4,000 to you. Right. So again, let us help you, but you get, there's things that you have to do. There's expectations that we have as managers that if you want us to help you, you got to show that you want to work. I'm not going to, I'm not going to, I'm not going to just give you leads Dante the final just because you ask for them. If you're not getting on the live dials, if you're not trying, I can't help that. Because the only thing, I, only thing I owe anybody here, only thing that we owe anybody here is the opportunity in which we, which you have and an example which we're giving you. Outside of that, I'm not, I don't have to do anything extra, but I want you all to win, but you have to show me that you want to win. Right, and so, so again, you need 100 to 150 leads that are what, Marqueza? New to you. There you go. Um, get your mind right <laughs> before you start dialing. Like, get your mind right. 
Like you gotta say stuff to yourself. Like I gotta talk to myself every morning. I gotta I gotta pray. I gotta listen to this. I gotta do all these different things to get my mind prepared for what's about to happen because it's not well, it's not easy for me, right? It's not like I don't like doing it. So I gotta really be like okay, this is gonna be a great day. This is what people would like. People answer the phone. Even if they even if I feel different, like again, if I say it, I be, I start to believe it. But if I say I hate doing this. I can't stand doing this. Get your mind right before you start dialing. But all this, all of the things that I'm talking about doing, if you do these things prior to, your mind is already going to get in position to be right. But you're trying to, again, skip past the stuff that sounds cheesy and corny, and you're wondering why you don't like making phone calls. Or do you sit there for hours before you make your first dial? Like, dial day, dial, you should not be taking all day to dial the phone. You should not. If you, if you get started, and I'm going to talk about when you should get started, um, but if you start dialing at 7.30 a.m., you, you should be done by noon or at the latest. Josh Khan, Josh. Yes, Colleen. When do you start dialing? 7.30. And when are you generally done? Typically, I'm done by like 11, 11 so, 12, yeah. 7.30 to 11, so that's, what is that? Three and a half hours? Is my mind right? Yeah, three and a half hours that you're dialing. And then the rest of the day, Josh, is yours. 100%. Right? So, but we're, we're we start dialing at one o'clock and then we're dialing until, until eight. And then you're exhausted from dialing. Get it out the way. Like don't, especially if you're new, like you cannot do, you can't do what I do. I get on at nine. Because I can get my I can get my dial done at by twelve, right? Even if I start at nine. But if you're new, you need more time because you need more practice, right? And so what I am I'm going to start doing it earlier because I have other things that I need to get done in my day. So I need to, I want to get done even earlier, dial. And so and 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 so okay. So a hundred hundred. So mine right. Um, start. You need to get on live dials. Y'all, if you're not going to get on the live dials, it's not going to work. I'm being very, very serious, very, you know, very transparent. Like, if you're not willing to do that, it's not, this is not going to work out for you. And some of y'all might be like, oh, she's a B. That's fine. I'm just, I'm telling you what it, like, if anybody who knows me or anybody who's worked with me know that I'm straight, I'm going to tell you like it is, I'm going to tell you like it is. If you're not going to, if you, if you want to make, if you want to like really come here and make a lot of money, like you got to get on dials because you don't know what you're doing wrong. You cannot coach you. Your mama can't coach you, your grandmother, your kids. Only person, only probably, only person, kid who could probably coach, coach y'all is Corinne. Corinne's son has heard today. <laughs> he heard this script so many different times. He probably knows exactly what to say and what not to say. He's six years old. But outside of that, like my son couldn't even coach, right? Because he hasn't heard this. But guys, get you got to get on the dials. You got to. You like it. And it's because there's so much power. I, everybody who gets on the dials, previous, Jawan, Dana, Sandra, I'm just kind of looking at people who are, who are like consistent. Um, who else gets on on a regular basis? Josh. Hey guys, we need your cameras on. Um, Josh, Darren, like those are the, Chris, the people that you see on, the people that are on the live dials on a consistent basis are the people that are closing on a consistent basis. It's not, a, it's not, a, it's not confusing about it. It's nothing confusing about it. They are, they are winning there because we're helping them get better. And guess what? When you when you start to hear us say certain things, oh, they got to use that. It's stuff that Corinne says that I then like, oh, I'm gonna start using. I like that, right? It's stuff that I've heard Stefano say, and Stefano's been here for a few months that I'm like, I can use that, right? But there's power in working together. But when you're working by yourself, y'all, you're not gonna get better alone. I promise you. And we have this community, we have this forum, so that we can help you get good on the phone. But for some reason, y'all won't buy into the system, and then you then you, like then you do compare and say, "Oh, well, she's doing." It's not. It's just because it's her. It's not me. It's the system, and I follow it. I've been following it since the beginning. Um. So okay, get your mind right. And then a lot of dollars. Your camera needs to be on, and you need to unmute your phone. 
We need to hear what you're saying. We need to see you. And again, if you guys are not willing to do these little things, I don't know. Because this is not, guys, this, this business is very simple. It's not easy. And so if these, and, and the other thing about doing the little things, that builds your confidence. And every time you, let me, let me tell you something, Jeanette. Every time you tell yourself something and you don't do it, that, that ruins your self-esteem. You're ruining your own self-esteem. Every time you say tomorrow I'm going to get on the live dials and you don't get on the live dials, that messes with you. It doesn't mess with me because you made yourself a promise. Think about it, Jeanette. If you told somebody, if you said, if you told um, your fiance, you're engaged, right? So if you told your fiance, I'm a, like, I'm gonna meet you here. And then you didn't meet him every time you like, and you keep telling him I'm gonna meet you here and you never showed up. Do you think he would think, do you think he would trust that you got his back? Yeah, probably not. <laughs> so we did the same thing happens with our, we do the same thing to ourselves. When we make ourselves promises and we don't keep our promises, we're lowering our self-esteem every single time we do it. But when you do say, this is what I'm going to do and you stick to it, your self-esteem magically goes up. You start feeling better about yourself because you, you, you can trust you, right? Janelle, I'm not trying, I'm not putting you on the spot. I'm just using you as an example. Um, yeah, you're so, <laughs> so, but yeah, so guys, like if you put, like, this is why I'm saying, do, do these things, get yourself a schedule and stick to it because every day that you stick to your schedule, you'll feel more, you'll feel better about yourself. Like all of this stuff is mindset, guys. We don't do anything. We don't do any heavy lifting. We don't do any of that kind of stuff. It's all in your mind. And if your mind is not right, this is not going to work. So that's why we're have. That's why we're going through these basics because these are things that we realize that we know, but everybody else it may not be second nature to you, right? And so you can take this video and can listen to it over and over again so you can see what part you're missing because this is going to be on the FFL Fury YouTube page on Monday, right? So, um, but these, these are the basics of get, this is, but this is the most important day. These dials, setting your appointments because going on appointments, that's easy. That's the very easiest part of this whole thing is going on the actual appointments. But this part right here is the part that, that needs the most attention and the most work because if you get this part, this appointment setting part right, it, it will change everything else, right? But it starts with your mind. Um, and I talked about start early, like start dialing at 730. Because I, because what happens between 730 and 830, you'll get the most people answering the phone because they're not, because telemarketers don't call that early in the morning. So they know, you because I know somebody calls me at 730 in the morning. I'm like, who the hell's calling me this early? I'm going to answer it. They're, and a lot of them are answering out of curiosity, right? So start dialing, but between 730 and 830, you could probably book four appointments. Um, let me see who I can call on. Rose. Do you know how many appointments you need to have? We need to see your face, Rose. We're not judging you. <laughs> We're not here for that. Um, there we go. Hey, Rose. Mm -hmm. Hi. Um, so do you know how many appointments you need to have every day that you run business? No. Okay, that's fine. Thank you for your honesty. Guys, we've been saying eight to 10, it's 10. You need to have 10 appointments every run day. If you're full-time, 10 appointments. That is the number. You need to have 30 appointments every week. So if you're dialing on Monday, you're dialing to set 10 appointments for Tuesday. On Wednesday, you're dialing to set 10 appointments for Thursday. And on Friday, you're dialing to set 10 appointments for Saturday. 30 appointments, I don't care how new you are, how, you, how unprepared you are. If you have 30 appointments, you will close business. If you have, if you have four appointments in a day, Rose. So first of all, let me explain to you guys why, we why you need to have so many appointments. And that might help some people. Let's just use what a day. Let's just use one day for an example. I have 10 appointments today. Okay. 
half, only half are going to be home. So now how many appointments do I have, Yvette? After I have, when I started with 10. Five. Five. Mm -hmm. So now I'm, now I'm down to five, right? And then out of the five, depending on how good I am, let's say I'm new, I'll probably close two. Right? If a, and, and as time goes on, you're going to just naturally get better, right? You go, eventually, you should be able to close about, you should, if you have five, you should be able to close about three to five. If the, like, if you have 10 appointments in your mind, you should know that you should, you're going to close about two to three appointments every time you go out. That's with 10 appointments. So if you have five, now you're it's not you're not going to have two and a half appointments. You're probably down to two people that you'll actually see. And if you're not that good, if you're just getting started, you may you're probably not going to close anything. You got to put the numbers in your favor, right? And so ten appointments is the number that you need to be able to land on closing two to three sales in a day. If you look at if you look at the group, like it looks like. Oh my God, we're killing it. I might post two to three sales a day. Career might post two to three sales a day. Josh might post two to three sales a day. And some days, even with 10, like I had 10 the other day, I closed zero. So you cannot think that you're going to close anything if you have less than 10. I don't care how good you think you are. I don't care how nice the people are on the phone. You have to have 10 appointments every time you run business, period. And then what happens is people come, and, and, and the last thing I'm gonna say is like I talked about being done early, right? Josh talked about starting at 7.30, he's done by noon. You're not done until you have 10 appointments. Like you gotta put that in your mind. If it takes you from 7.30 a.m. to 7.30 at night, you're not done working until you have your 10 appointments. You have to set this goal for yourself. Cause again, when you say, when you start your day, Jeanette, and say, I'm gonna book 10 appointments tomorrow and you book two and you stop working, you don't feel good about yourself. But you feel so much better, like you've empowered yourself by saying, I'm going to set 10 appointments and I'm not going to stop till I set 10. And then you stick to that. I guarantee you, you're going to feel so much better. You want to feel so much better about yourself because you push through the hard stuff. Like there's, there's mental rewards in doing the things that I'm saying to do. You push through what was hard. You're building your muscle about, uh, you're building your mental muscle and you're saying, you know what? I can do what I say I'm going to do. I can win here. You're building your confidence. But we, we, like I said, we do these things to ourselves where we start, we start losing our confidence slowly but surely because we have made promises to ourselves that we continue not to keep. Right? And so, and then what that, and I, and I know what that's like because I've been there. Done, and the reason I can talk about it because I've done that to myself plenty of times. Because I know what it feels like to bring my, I know it feels like to bring my self-esteem down and I know what it feels like to bring it back up again. But I bring it back up by doing the things that I say I'm going to do Sticking to my schedule because I start to see results. And then you start to believe that this works. The people that think this doesn't work are the people that not, they're not putting in the work. I guarantee you, Josh Conn, and I'm calling Josh because Josh has been crushing it. Josh, if, if somebody said FFL, if somebody told you FFL does not work, what would you say to them? <laughs> First, I'd laugh. And then, but, uh, but the next thing would be um, that they're not doing it right. They're, not, they're definitely not plugging in. And they're not using the system. I always tell everybody that when it comes to FFL, you don't have to create the re recreate the wheel. You just got to spin. They, then they teach you how to do it. They tell you exactly how to do it. Be coachable. Be listen, listen to what they say. And just follow direction. And, and the wheel will spin. That's it, y'all. It's not like, it's, and it like I post my speech from the other day. But this is not, we're not asking you to do brain surgery. We're not asking you to do heart surgery. We're saying set appointments, buy leads, set appointments run appointments and close business. Like we're, we, it's very, very simple, but we complicate it, right? We want to learn the process. We, I didn't, did did y'all hear me any, in any point in time, right? Did y'all hear me say anything in my, cause I'm done with my list. Did y'all hear anything about me saying you need to learn to learn to learn the products? Anything that I talked about today? The, cause I'm, cause I'm, the, was there any talk about that? So why are we in our minds? Why are we saying I need to learn the products? You don't need, you're going to learn the products when you get in the field and start making mistakes. You're going to make mistakes too. Let me say that. You're going to make mistakes. And we're not, we're all human, right? 
So no one here is perfect, including myself. I make mistakes every single day. I'm so messed up. Like, I'm so messed up. But every day that I wake up, I give myself another chance to make a change. Right? I'm getting, God give me another chance to do something different every single day. But if you want, if you, if you want to continue what you, if you want to continue on the same path that you've been on, keep doing the same stuff that you're doing. But if you want your next year, your next couple of months to look very different than the last few months have looked, follow the system. Like, it's not like, you know, and again, like, I don't, like, I'm not trying to make it about me and Corinne at all. But the reason that me and Corinne are getting recognized is because we're, we, we're doing the things that FFLs asked us to do. And guess what? If they're looking at us, if they're recognizing us, then they're going to want to recognize people on our team. And then look around and find out, figure out if you're somebody who's recognizable. And if you're not, you can you can make you can make a decision today to change. You can make a decision today to change how you want to be viewed. Right? That's funny because some people like if like Frank Euphemia, who is two levels up from me, and Josh is two levels down from me, knows Josh's first and last name and his phone number. But a lot of y'all in the same position as as Josh is two levels down, a level down, whatever. Does Frank Euphemia know? Do you even know who Frank Euphemia is? And does he know your name? The reason he doesn't know your name, and it's not about him, but just hear what I'm saying. If he, the reason he doesn't know your name is because you haven't done anything to make him know your name. I trust and believe you want to, you want Frank to know who you are because I'm getting I'm getting coach like we're getting coaching from someone who makes two million dollars a year in his business. So you want to be if you want. You want to be around those kind of people, but you got to do the thing. You got to do these uncomfortable things to get in position to be around those kind of, be in those situations, to sit at those tables, right? And again, and if you're not here, guys, if you just came here part-time to make a couple of extra, couple of dollars extra part-time, we are good with it. But for everybody, and I'm, and pretty, pretty much everyone who's a full-timer, um, you've talked to me, right? Almost everybody, and told me what you want to do here. You told me what your goals are. I'm giving you the recipe to hit your goals, but what, what are you doing with it? Cause this is y'all, this is a once in a lifetime opportunity, like no BS. Like you can, you have to literally, you literally rose two months from now financially, your situation can be very different. Three months from now, your situation, but you got to go to work. You got to follow the system. You got to go to work. Josh's life is very, very different than it was six months ago. I know it. You, you can see it. His, that's why he, this, you see Josh, if y'all not following Josh on Facebook, Josh is posting pictures of himself every day. He, people look, people start to look different. They look different, right? They feel, Josh feels different about himself. Money's not everything, but y'all, money gives you a lot of options. Money, money matters. Right. And so because because here in the United States, you you can't without money, what you want to do? And things are just getting more and more expensive. <laughs> like, y'all, it cost me man, I'm, I'm like I'm here like sixty five dollars to fill up my gas tank and I use regular gas. It used to cost me thirty dollars. Right. Gas, everything is going up. We need to do. But we're in a position where it doesn't matter. The Like, I don't care about the gas prices. Because I don't have to look at my bank account count to figure out if I can get gas or if I can eat. Some of you guys are in that situation, but because you're not willing to get uncomfortable, you're going to stay, you're going to stay, like choose your heart. Do you want to stay in your uncomfortable situation that you're in right now? Or do you want to be a little bit uncomfortable so that you can have more later? And I'm not going to preach because I already did the preaching call a couple weeks ago, guys. And we had the same amount of people on live dials on Monday. It didn't change anything. <laughs> So again, y'all need to, you need to make a decision about what you want to change in your life and let us help you make the change. Any questions, y'all? We got like two minutes. I just want to say thank you for the training, Kelly. It was great. Thank you. Thank you, Dante. I will be in touch with you and my manager. Okay, perfect. Um, can you post a link for the um, live dial calls on there? We posted every, we post, it's, it's <clears throat> as soon as the live dial is open, it's the same link as this, actually. Um, it's the same Zoom as this, but every, every as soon as it's open, somebody, either Annie or usually Annie or Josh or myself 
or Corinne, we post the link. It's just, but it's the same one as us. 7.30 on Monday, and then uh, we'll post, well, Corinne's going to be on live dials when we're done here, but, um, so if you want to hear Corinne dial, like, Corinne is really, really good on the phone, get on the live dials, y'all, this is a business that we're running, right, this is not, so, at the end of the day, like, I don't, I was at dinner last night, and I was taking a call from a new agent, I don't, like, we don't have any time, like, McDonald's doesn't close, because that's, McDonald's is successful because they're open all the time, right, you guys want to, this is, if you want a job, go do a job, right? Well, you're off on Saturday and Sunday, but this is not a job. Like we're open for business seven days a week. So we're going to be on a lot. So Corinne's going to be on a live to As soon as this is over, she'll post it in, a, in Telegram. Listen to what she's saying and how she's saying it. She can help you get better. We can help you get better. But be the change that you want to see. And again, ask yourself, ask yourself, would you follow you? Would you fire you? Would you hire you? And if not, you need to make some changes. Any more, no more questions, guys, it's 12 o'clock. I have a question, Kali. Yes. I appreciate your, uh, this meeting is pretty, pretty uh, great. But um, what's the tool that you guys use to dial? Are you using that tool that dials like three numbers at a time or something? Call tools, I just, I'm waiting to get mine. Um, they're gonna have, they're gonna be having meetings about it every Wednesday. Okay. Um, it's so one this Wednesday. Yeah, it'll be one this Wednesday. So we'll post it. All right, sounds good. Okay. <laughs> yep. All right, y'all. So this will be posted on FFL Fury YouTube page on Monday. Um, next week we'll be going through appointment setting 102, right? So every every class that we have is going to lead into the next class, the next session. Um, so that you guys, like I said, you have a basic understanding and you can go back and or and if you hire new people, you can say go to the FFL Fury YouTube page and look at this class because it'll help you. All right, guys, have a great week. We love you. Run it up, Bye. everybody. Thanks, Kelly. You're welcome.